Welcome back. All right, millions of Americans struggle with depression each year, and despite its prevalence, depression is still largely misunderstood and under-researched. But now, according to our next guest, there is hope in something called Hope Fragrance. As Audrey Gruss explains, it's helping to fund depression research and bring awareness to a global issue. Take a look. We're now the leading depression research organization in the country, but much more is needed. So I was inspired by my mother's hope's love of white flowers. She loved the white essences. She loved lily of the valley and gardenia and jasmine and tuberose. And with that in mind, I created a fragrance named after her called Hope that combined these four fragrances with a green, very verdant kind of a crisp note that layers through the fragrance. It's a beautiful fragrance and it stands on its own, but there's something very distinctive and unique about it. 100% of net profits go directly back to advanced depression research. For more information about depression, you can go to hopefordepression.org. And for more information about Hope Fragrance, you can go to hopefragrancesint.com. And thanks to Hope for Depression Research for, of course, sponsoring that segment.